Rest time for staying with us. The People's Democratic Party has accused President Mohamed Buhari of planning to derail the electoral process and throw the nation into political crisis. The PDP was reacting to a statement credited to the president on threat to deal with those planning to hijack ballot boxes at a meeting of APC leaders in Abuja on Monday. President Buhari had said, and I quote, anybody who decides to snatch ballot boxes or lead thugs to disturb the election, maybe that will be the last unlawful action he would take. I have directed the police and the military to be ruthless, end of quote. In a statement by Kola Ologbondinho, its spokesman of the PDP said Buhari, President Buhari resorted to threat to having realized that he would lose the election. He also accused President Buhari of mounting pressure on the Electoral Commission to cancel elections in some states so as to achieve a staggered election. Well, joining us now is a lawyer and social commentator, Olayinka Ola Daniels. Thank you for staying with us on TVC Breakfast. Well, this statement, is it enough to cause a political crisis or are we just overreacting? Well, um, we can say we are just overreacting because um, at the moment we have to be careful of whatever the utterances that comes from us as an individual, um, considering the fact that the country, the way it is right now, the tension is high, you know, from both sides, from, you know, uh, um, both, uh, don't let me say both parties because we are not talking about just two parties mm -hmm. now. We are talking about, you know, several parties, political parties. And if a statement is coming from number one citizen uh, of the country, it's a statement that is more of uh, um, giving an order for extrajudicial killing. Is that an order in itself? It, it, it is. Okay. It, yeah, it's giving, it's ordering, because in that statement, don't forget that he said that he's ordering the military and the police to go ahead and do such, uh, I mean, take such steps. No. A statement like that shouldn't come from someone that have regards for the rule of law. Well, speaking about the rule of law, the, the, the Electoral Act is clear on, on this, well. like you rightly noted earlier. But then how effective has it been over the years? We've witnessed ballot, bo ballot box snatching and all of that. Yeah, we, we, we must take cognizance that there's no perfect election anywhere in the world. Having said that, so far in the country, we have instances in which some of these thugs have been apprehended, arrested, and maybe fine, prosecuted. Now, probably is not in the known like that. In the public, people may not be aware of some that were you know, arrested, though the political gladiators somehow find a way around it to go back and get those people out of the police net. And sometimes you don't even see justice being done, you know, being seen as being done. So people can say, Yes, it has not really been affected. But then, will the statement do more to it? What is the purpose of the statement? What is the motive behind the statement? And like I said earlier, there are 1,000 ways in which you can salvage situations. Mm -hmm. You have whatever you say. You have to be mindful of whatever you say so that it does not cause chaos. But now the defense headquarters has said that it will be guided by the constitution. Isn't this enough to, you know, boost the confidence of the electorate to come out to vote? Well, it is, and I hope that it will go a long way to boost the morals of the electorate to come out and vote. And, but then, more like um, the deed has been done. Now, you're trying to savage in another way, not even now where I think as at yesterday, Mr. President came out again to appeal to Nigerians, yes. you know, to go and vote. Probably he should have checked his statement before he came back to serve the situation because the truth is some will not still go out because they are agitated. Some are even anticipating that anything could go wrong. So please, I know the country is not fantastic, but the um, small thing that I'm having in my house, the garage that I'm taking, let me just be managing it. Whatever they want to take, we could know that whether we vote, or not, they know who is going to win. Now, that, this is what you are giving Nigerians populace, the electorate, to say. So now, if he had not made such statement, and he has come, like he came yesterday, to just appeal generally to electorate, I'm sure everybody would be happy to say, okay, let us go all out and vote for the next president. All right, so Ola Yinka, Ola Daniels, thank you for your time on TVC Breakfast.